Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. And today I'm here to talk about tips for buyers who are looking to buy in a competitive market. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. And today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about how you can get your offer accepted in today's competitive buyer market. So whether you're buying your first home or selling one house and buying another, it is a very competitive housing market right now. And there's a couple of things that you can do in order to better put yourself in a good position to get your offer accepted over other buyers' offers. Now, first and foremost, if you are going to buy a place, you need to get pre-approved unless you're lucky enough to buy ca cash. If you're lucky enough to buy cash, that definitely puts you in advantage over other buyers. However, getting a full pre-approval letter where the bank has done a full background, they've done, they've gotten your tax returns, paycheck stubs, bank statements, and gone through the full scenario with you can also get you in a strong position as well. Now, it's important to talk to a reputable lender who is preferably local to the area. Sometimes the online lenders will make a lot of promises and seem like they're really great, and then we find out while you're in escrow and your money is at risk, that uh, they may not be the best lender out there. So just be careful about which lender it is you choose and I'm happy to give you referrals if that's the case. The other thing is you wanna make sure you pick a qualified and well-connected agent. Now you don't wanna work with someone who's out of the area or someone who um, is working part-time for sure. Having good connections in today's market and having your agent be well-connected is really important. What that means is sometimes we can have communications with agents who are who know us well and we can get your offer accepted because of those relationships. Um, so definitely make sure you talk to a good and select a qualified agent to work with. Now you should also sit down with that agent and go over your specific needs list with that agent. If it's not myself, if you're in another area, make sure that you've picked the right person and that you sit down and go through all of your needs with them. That way, they're not going to waste time showing you homes that don't fit your needs and they can often screen out properties that may not fit what you want. It might look pretty on the internet, but there's a lot of things that they may know about the property or the area that won't fit your needs. So very important to go over those, uh, those qualifications for a new property. Now, you also want to be prepared to be creative. Now, what I'm saying by this is if you're in a multiple offer situation, sometimes it's not just the price. Sometimes writing a letter to the sellers, um, sometimes learning more about the background of the sellers and what their constraints are, what their requirements are, can help get your offer accepted as well. And this is where having a top-notch agent like myself can help you in getting your offer accepted as well we can give you guidance as to what things you may be able to give on in order to get that offer accepted too. Sometimes too, when you're in a multiple offer situation, I've heard from many buyers saying, well, I don't want to get into a bidding war. Sometimes when there is a bidding war, it's not necessarily because the property is overpriced. It may just be that the property was underpriced or at market value. So it exposes the property to as many buyers as possible and that's why there's multiple offers. So in that case, you just have to decide what price you feel comfortable paying for the home based on the recent sales in the area. And from there, if someone else is willing to pay more for it, well then, it wasn't the right property for you. And most importantly, if you're selling another home, you want to make sure that you have that home in escrow. And either have a long escrow or the potential to rent back from the new buyer for your home so that you can continue to stay there while you locate your replacement property or um, while you're waiting for your other property to close. If you have any other questions about this or you want more specifics or if you yourself are thinking about making a move, give me a call. You can reach me at 562 316 2915 or you can email me at Melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching and feel free to forward and share this with your friends.